Hey everyone, Doug from InsiderIowa.com. This is the Saturday Night News. Uh, first edition, don't know if I'll be able to keep this up, how busy I'll be, but this is going to be the plan from now on, is to get in a little bit of footage of what's going on over the weekend and uh, what we're going to be releasing uh, in the, over the next week, things like that, just whatever comes to mind. Uh, tonight, of course, uh, we've got some freshman football coverage for you. I'd like Come to roll on, a little of that right now. Definitely some great footage of those kids uh, out there giving it their all. They didn't care 58 to nothing. You know, they were down all night and uh, still just going at it. So uh, just, you know, awesome. And uh, that's what the Big Reds are all about. They don't, they won't, uh, they don't stop. They're not going to forfeit a game. They'll go right to the end, right to 58 to zero, but whatever. Uh, a lot of spirit and a lot of pride out there, so very awesome. Now I also, in between games, I had to run over and cover Friday Night Live. Definitely wanted to get some of that strange dreams for you. <laughs> uh, very awesome, uh, Tanya uh, from uh, Insane Jane, now the new band Strange Dreams, and they were uh, on the square. Awesome, awesome job that the Chamber put, uh, does putting on that great event, Friday Night Live. And uh, big thanks to Joyce Bieber, you know. And as a matter of fact, happy birthday, Joyce. I hope you're having an awesome day. Today is, yes, today is your birthday. All right. Well, have a great day, and let's roll some of that Strange Dreams footage. <laughs>
was able to get a few tracks, uh, so I'm going to be releasing those this week uh, in between the freshman game and the varsity game. Uh, ran back and forth, just like I said I was going to do. I pulled it off somehow. Now, the unfortunate part was that I did run out of battery at the varsity game. So I do not have a lot of footage, but I do have some great footage, uh, definitely. Uh, of course, uh, after recording the freshman, I was warmed up a little bit to record sports, so first time. So you have to give me some credit as well, just for being my first time out there on the sideline. Big thanks to Kyle Oker for showing me the ropes. Kind of followed him around like a little puppy dog out there, probably. He probably was like, dude, get away from me. <laughs> uh, but very cool. We've got some great varsity uh, coverage here. Also, I'm going to uh, roll a little bit of the band. Now, that was interesting. I was uh, <clears throat> standing there recording the band, and all of a sudden, they just started coming at me. So let's uh, roll that footage of them leaving the field. And uh, there's a little surprise in there. There's somebody you know. Uh, that's going to jump in front of the camera. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. check back this week. Uh, I'll keep you updated as well on when we're releasing uh, the big red footage. And remember area businesses, we've got great footage now. They've provided the content. I've gathered it. Let's get them some money. 50% of any advertising on these videos goes to the big reds and the redettes and the cheerleaders. No matter who it is that needs money over there, we're going to give it to them as much as we can. Heck yeah! Uh, also, don't forget, uh, check out uh, the PitchSportsShow.com. Kyle Oker, I believe, has an article up, Albia Reclaims Battle of Highway 5, and he's got some great photos up of the game last night, so make sure you get over there and get all the latest and greatest news, the real deal, in sports. See you later, Centerville. You rock! <laughs>